So we are live at Newport Beach Perry Run Club House, which is the home of Paul Ripke, a very successful, very famous German podcaster, photographer, content creator. We're lucky to have him on Detour today. And I think this one's really important because he really breaks down what it takes to be a content creator, brand builder, storyteller in today's digital age. I've personally gotten a lot of advice from Paul. And at the end of this episode, I actually ask him to critique what I'm doing. And he's pretty blunt and straightforward. So he gave it to me straight on what he thinks I should do with my content, my personal brand. So uh, I think this is a great one. Uh, I would save this episode because I think it's going to be something you're going to want to reference uh, as you go on your journey. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Umwegs Podcast. Umwegs heißt, uh, also Umweg. That's detour in German. Oh, Can okay. Umweg. 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 Ich nehme den Umweg. Okay, I'll pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> What up? So we are uh, fresh off a five-mile run in Newport Beach in... What is this place? I'm not sure. Uh, Paris Clubhouse. I, I, I walked past. Uh, I, I saw it. Then I rented it. And then I... Uh, yeah think it's a it's a place where you can meet and it's my office and you can buy my uh clothing paris okay which is my initials paul ripke p-a-r-e your brand that. would be dimu dimu yeah not dimu good. would not work no. it's not a <laughs> not cool working. name um i met you i think a year ago i remember we had uh i was actually going to a meeting at pac sun oh yes correct and i we had lunch before and you offered to take me to my meeting correct which is very nice yeah. I, then i didn't realize how nice germans are Yeah. You guys don't have a great reputation, but... Hey, sorry. Thank you. But we, we did everything we could to, <laughs> yeah. to earn that. <laughs> so what's really interesting, because the reason I wanted to talk to you was when I met you, it seemed as though that you were a photographer. Correct. You gave me a book about the experience of the German national team in Rio. Did you ever watch it? Yeah. Like, okay. And I, I went through the book and I was like, wow, these pictures are amazing. I obviously follow you on Instagram and I would see this amazing photography. Then you were telling me you were working with Lewis Hamilton and the Formula One team. And it seems as though you were a photographer, producer, content person. Then uh, you told, were telling me about a podcast. And then you started telling me how much money you're making on your podcast. And never, I was I've like, never told you the real. Yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, what kind of photographer is this? Like who's listening to a photographer in his podcast? And then a year goes by, you quit all that other stuff and you're in this, now we're at this Newport beach house and you have like this new business. It seems like you've created off of your podcast. And I think that's interesting because Forget the fact that it's a podcast or that you're you were a photographer. It's everyone is trying to be a content creator, a personality, and I talk about it and I'm on my way, but you actually did it. And one of the things that I think that's interesting is most people that put out content, the quality of their content, including ours, is subpar, like in yeah. terms of the photography, the visuals, and you obviously have a very high quality because you're you know, you're properly trained photographer, would you say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I trained a lot. That's the main thing. I took pictures for 12 years and then the, the, in the 13th year, uh, the picture is a little bit better than the person who just started out. It's a thing you need to train. You need to take a lot of pictures. I took millions of pictures and millions of videos and millions of Insta stories, and then it gets a little bit better. That's true. Yeah. And so what I wanted to talk about today, you obviously, you post a daily vlog on IG story. TV, yeah. IGTV, sorry. You post a ton of content. You do podcast. You have a vegan uh, cookbook. Or Rip co Kitchen. Rip Kitchen. Yeah. Um, you have a clothing line. And you have done what every young person wants to do and actually make money. Because I know a lot of influencers and most of them don't make any money. You are successfully doing it as a career because you have a family of kids. So I know you make, you make enough to support that, which is not easy. So... How, what is everyone doing wrong where most of these people don't make money? There's uh, probably two things. Number one, there are no storytellers, but content creators. The most important thing is to tell a story and not 
the the content you create. You can tell a story in very various ways. The the um, quality of of the media can be very bad. If the story is not right, it's not going to work out. Number well, one. That's actually a, I, don't, I know you're going to number two, but like that's so simple. But yeah. nobody really thinks about that. Yeah. Everyone just puts shit out. Yeah, it's what what most uh, people who are into photography or videography. They think about cameras, about lenses, about gimbals and whatever, and they don't think about what's on the thing they film. If they film or take pictures of something, the most important thing is what's on there, what the story is, what the content really is. And that's something, if you put effort in and trying to change the subject, it's going to get a way higher quality, very, very immediate. And it doesn't matter how good the quality of the camera is. It matters how good the content is at the end. Wow. You hear that, Pete? Yeah, Pete. It's about the fucking story. Yeah. You're just sitting there taking pictures all day. Second of all, yes. rule number two <laughs> is uh, you need to do a lot. Like four years ago, I was a guy doing, oh, there's a detour coming in. Oh, <laughs> turn around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. That can, is good. Can you place that sign next to it? <laughs> <please? laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Second of all, Four years ago, I did pretty much only, like, I prepared a shoot two weeks, 12 people, one picture for advertising that sits there for a year. Nowadays, in 2020, you need a ton of content. Like, you need to lower the quality, higher the amount, and especially lower the people that talk about it. Like, you need one person who has responsible, who's responsible for the content, and then he decides to do stuff and strip down in, in quality. Like, I'm doing honestly a lot of stuff on my phone yeah and i do have high end quality camera stuff but it's 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 not about the cameras it's about the amount of stuff you do so if you can't make it good make it often sort of yeah um and that's that's what i do like i'm stopping at 80 percent of quality the last 20 percent of quality take 80 percent of the time so yeah. stop do the th next thing try different things and then the more you do like a campaign I think now for a product like the clothing I do should have 14 constant days of content, video, all video, 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 video. So you like video? Some, yeah, yeah. I, okay. I always did video. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling myself, hey, I'm Paul. I'm a photographer. But I always did at least 50% video. I did music videos from music people. And I did always both of it. So that's what you need to do if you, if you want to create any media. You can't just do photo or just video. You need to do both. And so many people ask me about podcast equipment, camera equipment. You, you could do everything from your phone. I yeah, mean, even on. just what I've seen, what you've done with the iPhone is yeah. insane. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not about the, the amount of like the editing apps are fast on their iPad Pro. If you want to have a proper place of, of like where you work, iPad Pro with the pencil is insane for editing on video. And that's it. You don't need even a computer and Adobe, whatever. You don't need all that. You just need one app. And then a phone and create stuff. And honestly, the, the microphone in the iPhone 11 or the MacBook Pro, insanely good or whatever product it is. Mm -hmm. Like the mobile, the phones, you can proper talk into it and, and it's enough. It's And you need to think about what you're saying. Yeah, That's where you, success happens. If you have stuff to tell, you guys do an insane job. You do a great job in the stuff. Um, yeah, I'm good. You do. You're insanely good. You're Thank not you. only good looking. Thank you. You're like, honestly... You're an entrepreneur of entrepreneurs. You're the influencer of the influencers. Wow, I like this. You're not only really, really, really nice. If you're my man crush, I'm 40% <laughs> I'm uh, gay. So okay. My 40% falling in love. Thank in, you. In, not only on an entrepreneur level, also on a human. Like you're just beautiful. Yeah, I'm pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> um, and in, when it comes to Can like... Give me the money. <laughs> that's going to be my personal ad. Yeah. Um, if if uh, it's interesting because most people who start businesses uh, or think about content, most people don't have interesting businesses. If you're in fashion, obviously the stories are easy to tell. Or if you're in music, the stories are easy to tell. What if you're in furniture? Yeah, you need to tell your your own human story. There's always human interaction. That's why social media has been invented for human interaction. Should never look like a brand is talking to yourself. Should always be a human thing. Let errors happen. Like not everything need to needs to be slick and perfectly. Pete, for example, chose a spot where 
the sun is like in the half of my face so yeah. all video looks horrible it looks yeah. like an amateur did yeah. that well but it's not it's <laughs> he just let an error that's authenticity yeah. happening right here. yeah pete is a god he's yeah. a creative he's mastermind. very authentic yeah, yeah he's authentic in a lot of things <laughs> yeah but honestly let let errors happen let stuff happen that you don't like because this way like there's not the grayer it is the worse the stuff is gonna be so it, it's either black or white so let pete decide what he posts on insta stories for example and that's the way people relate to it and it needs to be a human interaction show yourself if you do furniture show the way you do it show how you work around it that's the only superpower you have that differs you from the the normal people like the big companies yeah that that you're your people want to be a brand but they don't even need to. They want. They they need to be the person. That's that's where I'm, I, for example, want to buy. I want to see the human interaction. I want to see what humans do and not what big brands. I'm I'm aware of that. And do you think it's easier now to build a brand online as long as there's a personal connection, or is it? I mean, because I still think it's very hard to build a brand online yeah. because people don't connect unless it's real. Yeah. But that's it's Darwinism happening right there. Yeah, like it's very hard to lie right now. So a lot of people that were successful ten years ago with lying and kind of manipulating. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. a very very good friend of drama. He's my my best friend. Yeah, and can you call him? Nah, nah I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't have the number. You you kind of could have sneaked your way through that five or six years ago. Now it's not happening yeah. anymore. So these people get ditched. So it's it's you need. To be a cool motherfucker to deliver yeah. stuff and yeah. and it's you're gonna get a response in the first six months either you create content that finds an audience with the story you tell or you don't yeah and there's nothing in between what about uh people who don't have a business who don't have a brand but want to be a quote-unquote influencer where do what do those people do are they idiots I'm, I'm, <laughs> You know, I'm German. We don't talk bad about anybody out there. But Okay, well, uh, I'm American. If, if, yeah. We do that professionally. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, um, act. It's, if you're proper influencing people, if people listen to you and, and you maybe change their life just 0.5%, then everybody's an influencer, whatever they are. But um, but how do you do that? Like, let's just say you're, you're just a young person and you set up your mind and said, I'm going to be famous i want to be an influencer but how do you do you just tell daily story life yeah. and hope that it resonates with people you influence yeah either, either you influence or you don't you, yeah. you start influencing people you start to find an audience uh, yeah. you're gonna you know like in a group like this 40 people some people talk and some people listen and some people don't listen when some people talk so so that's how to find out if, if you're influencing other people and and that's probably honestly the only thing I ever did successfully in my career, and I'm 38 and, and did this for 20 years. The only real thing that, that works out is people remember when I was there. That's the only thing. I, I kind of made memories, either active in, in I'm there and people, I'm big, I'm, uh, I'm German. I'm, uh, yeah. And second of all, or I took pictures or videos, which they remember. But they knew I was there at the table. That's something... Yeah. If you want to be an influencer, you need to be visible. You so need memorable. To be memorable. There, there needs to be, and there is, there is, in this group of forty people, there's ten people. I, I already forgot. You already forgot. You know, yeah. like it's always the same. Just I, I know every single name yeah, of this, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but it's always if it's bigger groups and it's the same in influencing and in Instagram and, and whatever. Uh, if if you get forgotten, yeah, then that's you're a good doing point. A bad job. All right, influence. my last question. Yeah. Give me your uh, objective advice on what I should do. Let Pete run. Like the the you're very good in numbers, like, but you're not very strong visually. Okay. On Instagram, is that because like, of my face? No, because of your taste. I okay. Think. All right. <laughs> like like the the like. Give me an example. What should I be doing? Photos and videos sometimes okay. don't look really tasteful. Okay. And I think Pete is doing a better job in creating media and okay. that's very important you have to be in the first five seconds you need to be visually positively impacted and there's a lot of stuff yeah that's that you put out that's not for example the flyer we did for this mm -hmm. is gray and negative and something I, I i didn't say anything but yeah it needs always to be positive and and first two seconds and and that's probably not your biggest strength so yeah let somebody so, else do it so would you say 
for someone like me, just give full control to Pete. Yes, hundred okay. percent. Okay. Show him and and let him do it. Because the story, the 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 content you're doing, like whatever you're experiencing, is insanely high. Yeah. But you're not the best of the best in doing video okay. on Insta Story, I think. And um, what else? Always tell the same story in a text. Like make it. It's easy, but sometimes you're talking. And you're not showing in text what's happening. The captions, so, yeah. so it needs to always be the same information out there spoken as well as visually in text. So okay. people without sound still can understand what's going on. And then, like for me, you're doing probably one of the best jobs in my surrounding I see in trying different ways. Like that's that's what I tell everybody to, to have a look at D, the way you're going to different routes and, and trying to find out what's what's going on that's something a lot of people should do like you um, so is my uh, aesthetics is shit not shit okay. there's uh, there's better people uh yeah, your photo and video taste has room to improve fair <laughs> okay anything else i'm i want i want constructive criticism i like it um sometimes i'm not sure if everybody gets your humor, humor is a very, very thin ice. Yeah. Like I'm, when I'm trying to be funny or, or, or like not serious, I'm over pushing it. So everybody realizes I'm cooking naked or yeah. I'm naked being yeah. fat and, yeah. and ugly. So <laughs> that's sometimes that that's a thin line where people, I, I, for example, never understood the, number one podcast and the thing because i thought you are and and that's something yeah if you're not if you people aren't prepared always so yeah. so be maybe with the with the iron is it ironic yeah is it yeah that's sketchy, well my so. mine is more of i said number one podcast in the world uh, taking the cue from our supreme leader donald trump yeah. in the way he speaks and just makes bold claims yeah. so <laughs> rule number two in media never explain never complain never explain yeah so that's something that needs to be there i didn't understand it yeah. at the beginning but i'm german so I'm, yeah i'm maybe different you're not so, quick-witted <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh, but if you're doing quite a good job and and like the amount of media you're doing. We had to talk about group chat, yeah. but I would change a little bit, which you did, I think, yeah. a little bit, per, putting more personality in it, putting a little bit more personal stories and a little bit less time-related stuff. So yeah. so I'm very interested in finding out how, how the last three days in your life have been because you live a great, insane, interesting life. Yeah. And and these kind of small contacts are something I'm, I'm, I'm very interested in. So keep doing that on social media as well. Great. And then... Things will work out. I would, I would maybe. I have one idea. Okay. I would do like a magazine of a day in New York in West Hollywood, like your your hotspot, like where you go to breakfast, where you go to lunch, <laughs> maybe where you go for dinner, like your knowledge of West Hollywood. Yeah. Can I can I follow you for like two or three days? We capture like some lunch. I think spots. you should move to West Hollywood for one month, and we really dig deep into this. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, I like the 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 help, and I think the advice on storytelling is so important. Yeah. I forget that all the time. Every time I talk to you, you say it, and I forget it. Maybe I'll get uh, storytelling uh, tattooed on Pete's head. So when I see him, I'm like, oh, we're not telling a story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>